Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. Uh, it is Christmas Eve, Eve, Eve. Um, Christmas is almost upon us. So I figured I'm going to teach you how to make uh, hot chocolate for the Christmas season. So, get a mug. Preferably a festive mug, like this one, covered in Christmas sweaters. Um, yes. Hot chocolate mix. We've got some Tim Hortons hot chocolate. Um, a spoonful, like this. A little more for good luck. The next thing you're gonna need is some boiled water. Um, so, fill that almost to the top. Not quite, like two-thirds, three-quarters, whatever. One of your preferences. Then you're gonna top it off with some milk. Also not all the way. And then half and half cream, because we're going for a nice creamy cup of hot chocolate. Uh, so this is where you're gonna go almost to the top with this. Like so. Then you're gonna mix those up. Give it a nice stir. And if it's looking like it's a little full, which mine is, I might have went a little bit too close to the top. Empty a little bit out. All right, now we're gonna add a little bit to the hot chocolate to make it just more than just a plain hot chocolate because let's be honest, who wants that around Christmas? Caramel. Uh, we're gonna go for a salted caramel flavor. So, uh... Like that. Salt. Salted caramel. So don't forget to mix, otherwise it's not gonna taste very good. Um, always mixing, always mixing. That's the key here. All right, now we're gonna get on to some of the special ingredients that are gonna give this a real nice. Oomph. Our first special ingredient is lemon juice. Now I know what you're thinking. Why on earth are we putting lemon juice in this hot chocolate? All I'm gonna say to that is just trust me. I know it's weird, um, but this is where you're really gonna notice the difference between an average cup of hot chocolate and this Christmas miracle of a liquid. So, just like that. Doesn't really matter if you, you know what? Put more in, because this is important. And of course, as always, hot sauce, because we all love hot sauce in all of our foods. They taste very good and is always important. Delicious. And don't forget to mix it. Mix, mix, mix. All the time. Always mixing, always mixing, always mixing. Gotta evenly distribute all of the contents. And to make this a little more Canadian, we are adding maple syrup. Always gotta add uh, something from the uh, four main food groups, but not too much because we can't afford that. That's good. Mix, 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 mix. Do not forget to mix. Okay, uh, and on top of this hot chocolate to give it a nice, um, to make it visually appealing, uh, we're gonna add a nice topping. Now, whipped cream is the usual, and uh, I don't have any whipped cream on me, so we're gonna use an alternative. Mayonnaise. It looks the same, it works the same. So, just scoop some out, and let that sit on top and uh, add a little more if you want. So now you have that nice uh, whipped cream on top, um, which will kind of add to the festivity. And there you have it. That is our hot festive salted caramel with a kick hot chocolate. Uh, we're going to give it a taste and I encourage you to do the same because uh, you're gonna enjoy this. Share the recipe with your friends and family, um, and cheers.
Merry Christmas. Why do I keep drinking it? <laughs> ah.